Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. So today is, I think Wednesday, and me and Steven took Monday and Tuesday like pretty much off of social media because, I don't know, we were just not feeling it. We just took a couple mental health days. We binge watched the Disney, um, the new Disney docu-series, which was so good. And we also just watched like a ton of movies and honestly, we're in bed most of the days, most of the time these past two days. Um, but it's all good because you guys, the time to do that because it's just, the it's, just that. <laughs> it's the time to do that and we're not gonna be guilty about it but anyways today is a very special day Stephen what day is it today April Fool's Day and it is and April Fool's Day but what our, else is it it's our seven year anniversary it's yeah. our seven year anniversary guys can you believe Me and Stephen are almost a decade we wow made it we made big. it seven Seven years, you guys, that's crazy. Anyways, so we are celebrating our little seven year anniversary today. We're not doing anything too crazy. Honestly, we're just at home because we are in isolation, obviously. Um, but this morning, Stephen made me some coffee in bed, which was just so lovely and so I'm sweet. I'm like pretty sweet, you know? Yeah, like, totally. I set the bar so set low bar so that up. when I do something not even that dope, it seems dope. Coffee in bed's a very nice thing to do. Honestly, because I'm usually the one to make coffee every morning, so it was a very nice treat for me to lie in bed and just like get my morning coffee given to me. It was great. Anyways, um, and now we're just making some breakfast. We are making our all-time favorite and all-time famous um, breakfast sandwich. So we're we, just. I thought we were just having avocados. Oh, toast. I thought we were making our breakfast sandwiches. We can just do avocado as well. Perfect it's fine. We'll just do avocado toast. Sorry. Um, anyways, we're just doing avocado toast <laughs> for breakfast apparently. But anyways, that's what we're doing right now. And then actually after this, we are actually filming a video for obviously this YouTube channel. Um, we are filming a video with Steven today. And what better day for Steven to have his debut on the YouTube channel on like a sit down video wow. than our seven year anniversary, guys. It just so happened to work out that way, but we're gonna be filming that today. And then I also think I'm gonna be making banana bread because I've been craving banana bread and we have two bananas. Um, that are gonna go bad soon, so I'm gonna do that, maybe do some baking today. But anyways, I wanted to start off the vlog here. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be about, but we're kicking it off today. So this is the current situation, so I guess I should put the eggs back in the fridge because we're not doing the eggs anymore. Totally fine. No worries, I didn't do that. No, 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 we'll just do, we'll just do avocado toast. But I'm gonna put, I'm still gonna put my secret sauce on it. You guys know, I'm still going to put my secret Secret ingredient. We already know. So good. Steven doesn't like it as much as me, but, but chili sauce. I really like it. Chili sauce. Yo, is I so like good. chili sauce, but just not on every single thing I've ever. I like it. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, we got this two weeks ago, and it's almost done. And I, it's all me. So Emma I don't know if that's unhealthy, it, but Emma puts it on anything and everything. Yeah, it's, it's actually so gross in a sense. No, it's so good. It's really good when it's with like, I don't know, spring rolls, but like. On like Annie's pasta, that's why. I didn't put on Annie's pasta. <laughs> I didn't put it on all my sandwiches. It's so good. Okay, whatever. Anyways, so we're now going to eat our stunning queen breakfast. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of looks stunning. Okay guys, honestly, I did not vlog all day. I'm the worst vlogger ever apparently, but I'm still getting used to this whole daily, weekly vlogging situation, so bear with me. Um, but like I said, today was me and Steven's seven year anniversary, so we actually just got back from a little drive and he surprised me with some white roses and some pizza and we went to the beach and just kind of enjoyed the sunset for a bit. Um, don't worry, we didn't see any humans, but it was literally my first time outside of this apartment other than going to the grocery store in literally 20 days, you guys, and it was so needed. I feel like these past few days, I've been just like very drained and very like tired and I felt really isolated. Even though I'm with Steven and Pippa and stuff, I just feel 
I don't know, it's just like, you guys understand, everyone's feeling the same way. So anyways, it was very nice to get out for a little bit. I feel so much better. It was just like so nice to get fresh air and like a change of scenery a little bit. And we got new flowers. So I'm very excited about these. I'm about to change out the pompous grass for the white roses because you guys know I've had this pompous grass like since we moved in. <laughs> and it's time to switch it up. So even though I do love the pomace grass a lot, it's really, really beautiful. Um, it's just time for a little switch up for some fresh flowers. So I'm gonna put you guys down right here and I'm going to switch you guys out. Um, but yeah, Steven surprised me and took me to the beach and we had a little pizza. Um, I'll insert a little video and a photo so you guys can see um, what we did. I tried to capture a few photos while we were there. But I'm pretty much just going to cut these down a little bit because I'm not gonna fit into my vase. So I'm just gonna cut them down. By the way, right, white roses and pink roses are my favorite flower ever. Obviously, my name's Emma Rose, so it's just fitting, you guys. And I've been wanting to get white roses for this apartment for the longest time. So I'm so excited that I finally have white roses, white fresh roses to put in the new vase. guys look how good it looks stunning Yo, you should put it on I think the it looks so table, pretty man. do you want to put it on the bedside table or do you want to put it in the kitchen Yo, you should put it. we can I put mean, it I in the kitchen we could put it in the bedroom I think it could look really cute in the bedroom hold on let me turn the lights on in here uh oh I have no hands to turn on the I lights it, baby. I got it baby here I'll hold this okay where do we want to put it uh I mean it's your call babe actually yeah, I think you're the boss really I can Rearrange you guys. Well, I remember you telling me you wanted to put white roses on this table. I that did. was like your well, we idea. We can put everything. Look, it looks well, so yeah. good with the white roses. Everything looks so perfect. We can maybe. Mm. Yo, we should definitely replace the light bulbs in our apartment. They're too dark. We could do this. I know we need to get more yeah. lights. We can just put the one candle. That looks good. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's nice. Oh my gosh, it looks so freaking cute. I love it. Wow, it's really the little things, hey? This is just making me so happy, I can't. I love it. Anyways, to kind of catch you guys up to speed, um, me and Steven, like I said, we filmed the relationship Q&A today and we just kind of hung out and chilled and like I said, I just didn't really feel like taking out my camera today. Um, nothing against the vlog or anything, obviously, but it was just like one of those days again that I was feeling a little bit more on the chill side and I wanted to just kind of I don't know. You have to put your mental health before vlogging, always. By the way, Pippa looks so freaking cute right now. I mean, I actually... Pippa? <gasps> Hi! She's literally the only thing that keeps me sane in this house. <laughs> Look at you. You're such a cutie. <gasps> You're such a cutie. Hey, are you crying? Oh, you have a little bit of sleep in your eye. You have a little bit of sleep in your eye. <laughs> Big yawn, you're such a pretty girl. Okay, you guys, I remembered that I kept his anniversary gift from four months. Yeah, you heard that right, not four years, four months. And Steven made me this thing. Look, it says on it. Hi, to Emma, happy four month anniversary, I love you. That's what it says on it, so cute. And it came in this mini chip chop box because I liked chip chops, I think, back then. Yeah, you did. Okay, so it's pretty much, so I won't read them out because it's personal. Yeah. But Steven, I wanted to tell you guys the idea because it was such a cute idea. Honestly, back then, like very impressive. He made a deck of cards and wrote 50 reasons why he loves me or 53 or how many deck of, how many cards were in a deck? Like 52 or something. However many cards there were in the deck, he wrote reasons why he loved me. So I haven't read this probably in five, six, seven years. So I'm gonna now read these. Or we're gonna read them and see what they say.
morning guys um it is the next day and today me and steven are going to be going grocery shopping because we need to kind of meal prep for the rest of the week and for the weekend and stuff um i feel like every time we went on grocery runs lately like in quarantine we've only done it like maybe once or twice or three times now um, in the span of like three, four weeks. However, I feel like every time we do go, um, we kind of just like go in the store not really knowing what we're gonna cook and we just kind of pick whatever we see on the shelf and just kind of guess while we're there and come up with recipes while we're in the store. Um, and it's just like not financially smart because we end up, I feel like, racking up the bill really quick um, and then like end up leaving and being like, what did we even buy? So before we go grocery shopping this time, we are going to kind of like meal prep, not in the sense of like actually prepping the meals, but we're going to figure out like which dishes we're gonna cook for dinner this week um, and for like the weekend and stuff and kind of try to like purchase the ingredients according so we're not gonna like go crazy in the store when we know we're like keeping on track with the menu that we have set If you know what I mean? So me and Steven right now are gonna spend a few minutes just kind of creating the menu for the rest of the week So I'm gonna put you guys here. What dinners what dinner meals do you want for the rest of the week? So like tonight you want, what do you want to make? Tacos. Okay, wait, so taco Burgers. night Hold on. Meal prep. Okay, tacos. Well, taco night. Okay, uh, pasta. pasta. Maybe yeah. Ital Italian night. We have taco night, burger night, and Italian so far. What other things would you want to eat this week? What about the prawn curry? Yeah, yeah. Okay, prawn curry. Uh, so that's like one, two, three, four. We could do like six meals, how about? Because pasta is really easy, like Italian makes really easy. Yeah. We get the ingredients for Greek salad again, because we love our Greek salad. Yeah, we should have Greek salad like every day of our lives. Every day of our lives. We could make like a chicken Caesar wrap really easily. Chicken Caesar wraps. Well, like I feel like we'd just buy a roast chicken for that, you know what I mean? I really want to make banana bread, you guys. So I have to go get the ingredients for banana bread because we don't have enough of the ingredients. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so what we have so far is taco night, burger night, Italian night, prawn curry, which is my mom's recipe. It's really good. I'll probably teach you guys on stories, tell you guys on stories the recipe. We'll do Greek salad stuff because we love our Greek salad. Again, if you want the recipe for our Greek salad, it'll be on my cooking highlight on my Instagram. Um, maybe one night we'll do a chicken Caesar salad, chicken wrap Caesar salad, something like that. And then I have banana bread because I want to make a banana bread, banana bread recipe because I've been craving it for like so long now and I'm just craving to make it. Is there anything else that we'd need? Um, oh, avocados for avocado yeah. toast. So avocado right. toast. Guys, this is our little meal prep on our phone. Super easy. Definitely recommend to do it. I think this is really going to help us save money with grocery shopping because we like just really just go ham. Every time we go to the grocery store and it's not financially smart, you guys. So that is what we're doing today. Hopefully the lineups at the grocery store um, aren't too long. Um, so I guess we'll see when we get there. So we've started bringing this Ikea bag, this like giant yes. Ikea bag um, to help us bring up the groceries from the car because you guys know the struggle of bringing groceries up an elevator in an apartment complex. So. We've now started to bring this thing. It's like so big and you just like put it in your car so then when you get back in your car with all your groceries, you can bring it up in one go rather than like six trips and stuff. So, pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to save on foods to do our grocery shop today. Um, lately, we've been just going to Costco for like bulk items to really stock up, but today we want to kind of get specific ingredients. And honestly, our fridge and like pantries aren't that big. So like we really shouldn't be doing huge Costco grocery shops every time, um, unless it's like ne necessary and we know we're gonna need the bigger version of whatever it is. Um, so today we're going to save on foods. And if you guys know save on foods, it's just like a good grocery, short, grocery store to get like, random groceries that you need so hopefully it's not crazy busy the lighting just completely changed um but anyways yeah we're going to go to save on foods today hopefully it's not crazy busy like we've seen crazy lineups on social media and like we're just like nervous because we don't know what to expect but hopefully it's okay and there's not a lot of people there it's kind of like an awkward time it's like 1 p.m so every time we go shopping it's usually been at like 7 p.m so this is new for us. This is new territory for us. We honestly haven't been out of the house at this time of day in like three weeks, so. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm not, not joking though. Yeah. Like, this is new territory, you guys. We have not been out this early. So, anyways, we'll let you know. You guys, no lineups. Crazy. Okay guys, success. It's not very busy, which is great. We don't wanna be 
very close to anybody when it was six feet apart. So we got our little carts and also they were like cleaning them with disinfectant at the front of the store. So that's like so nice of them. Did you see that? Oh yeah, they like wiping them They were down. wiping down, them all down so you know that they're clean. Well, for the most part anyways, we're gonna hope so. I but trust them. No, I trust them too. The girl was like so sweet and she was wiping them down. So now we are gonna shop. out of save on foods and honestly there was like not that many people there which was really great and the last time we went to shop uh, shop at save on foods there was like mayhem with like the lines and everything but this time there was literally like signs on the ground that said like you have to stay six feet apart social distancing there was like an announcement like every 15 minutes reminding people to social distance so you can just see the change in like how people are taking it more seriously now and it's like really nice to see I guess you could say right you did you notice that oh yeah like, and the the employees are like so friendly. Yeah. Like, the nicest. Yeah, and they were all like saying, like, we all thanked all of them for being there and like being the people to like stay in their jobs and keep going to work so we can still get our groceries and everything because honestly, they're like the heroes in this pandemic. So, gotta thank them. Make sure you thank everyone in the grocery store, in the banks, in like all of your necessity places. Like when you go out and get your necessities, make sure you thank those people because those people are just like you and they're still going to work. Um, and they're doing it for all of us who, to like stay alive and get our necessities. So just a friendly reminder to thank those people. But anyways, we now just got back to the apartment and we're gonna bring everything up um, and put everything away. So I think it was very successful though. And I think that doing the tip of like writing everything down um, prior to going to the grocery store was very helpful for us. And I think we saved, like we saved a good amount of money. I would say we saved like a couple hundred dollars more than we usually spend. Well, if you're gonna save on foods? Yeah. Yeah, save on foods is like it's it's what they call it. Like no, but like that and for also like writing down like making sure we don't. Oh, that that as well. So well, yeah, just like a good a bunch tip of all around. Stupid useless things yeah. that we're gonna like go bad. <laughs> so look at guys, so good, so helpful. Yeah, I literally feel like the bag is like going inside of my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just got back from groceries. And I was gonna just unbox everything, take everything out of its packaging, and wipe everything down because before I put anything away, I'm like such a germaphobe with good reason. And I'm going to, hold on, this is literally on my paper towel. So I'm literally going to be disinfecting and wiping everything down before I put it away because that's just what I've been doing every time we go to the grocery store. So that is what I shall do. I've changed into something else just into like some cozy pajamas because I change out of everything that I wear to the grocery store or I wear, wear out in like a public place right away um, same with Steven we just like throw it in the wash right away because we don't want to like any trace of any type of bacteria or anything on our clothes we just don't want to like risk it and we're taking all precautions so changed into a new outfit so that's why it might be confusing in the vlog here but I'm going to do some laundry now I've already started on the bed but but I thought I'd put you guys here I forgot to put out my vlog camera but I'm currently now cleaning the bed because it is time to do some laundry. Peppa always loves to come onto the bed when I do laundry. I don't know what it is, but whenever I start making a bed, or Steven too, like Pippa has to come on the bed and like bother us and like completely just 
sit on the new bedding. I don't know why, but she just like loves to be distracting and loves to um, stop us from doing chores. Right, Pips? Right, Pips? Hey. I don't know what it is, you guys. It's like a cat thing, I swear. If you have a cat, you understand. Okay, so now that the laundry is in the wash, I'm gonna let that go. Well, I actually, um, I'm filming, I'm getting on a FaceTime call with Nitz and Sophie because we're actually filming a bonus episode of That's So Sabotage today. So we usually post every episode um, on Mondays, but we decided we're gonna post like a, a bonus episode this Friday, which is tomorrow. So we thought it was just like a fun idea to have a little bonus episode this week to give you guys a little bit of more entertainment. Um, because obviously everyone's in quarantine, so everyone's just chilling anyway. So that would be a fun thing to do. So we're going to do that right now. I'm literally about to get on a call with them, so I'm going to set it all up. Um, I think I'm going to... My phone's only like 20%, so... I think I'm just going to sit on the little Sherpa chair. And... Hold on, they're calling now. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Is Nitz here? No. Hey guys, it has been a little bit and now it is dinner time. Um, it is like 7.15 and we are starting to make dinner. And tonight we are making pasta. So we got this pasta today at the grocery store. Um, it was literally the only pasta left in the grocery store. So we are settling for that. It looks good though. I don't know, I've never had it before, so it looks good. And then we are using this pasta sauce that we got. Where did we get this, Costco? Yeah, I think so. It looks really good though. We're doing that and then I'm gonna make the Caesar salad and we're gonna have a Caesar salad and pasta. Just like a little bit of an Italian night, you guys. So good. We got some fresh romaine lettuce today at the grocery store. We're gonna need Parmesan. By the way, this Parmesan is so good. This is the brand. I get it from Costco. It's the best Parmesan. It's so freaking good. It's like fresh Parmesan. Um, like not fresh, but like it's not like I don't know. You know what I mean. And then we need Caesar dressing, which we're just using cracked creamy Caesar, which it's a little bit ghetto, but it's fine. We love that. And then what else do we need for Caesar salad? Oh, croutons. We need croutons. Croutons are a must, you guys, in Caesar salad. Like you can't do Caesar salad without croutons, and these are the croutons that we use. Also from Costco. Definitely recommend, they're really, really good. Also, don't mind my hair, it's just what we're working with today. So, Steven is in charge of making the pasta, and I'm in charge of making the Caesar salad. So, let's do it, Steve. Okay, so this is what the Caesar salad looks like. Super easy, it's literally romaine lettuce, um, Parmesan, and croutons. Um, and then I'm gonna be putting on the dressing like right before we start eating. And then Steven, meanwhile, is working on the pasta. It's like the easiest meal ever, but we didn't feel like cooking tonight, so we're keeping it simple. Okay guys, final product. We have the pasta, we ended up putting olives on it, Parmesan, and then the pasta with the pasta sauce obviously, and then we have our Caesar salad. And then for drinks, we're just drinking our kombucha. Looks stunning, you guys. I think we did a good, good job, job, babe. It was a good job, killed it. Another recipe, another meal in the books, you guys. 
I'm, I'm very impressed with us, you guys. It's so good. Okay, so now that the bed is all clean and fresh, um, my rule is every time that the bed gets washed or like freshly cleaned, we have to shower before we get into the bed to make sure we're clean as well because I just like hate that feeling of being like slightly dirty or slightly not freshly showered. Um, so I'm gonna do my little skincare routine. I'm gonna shower um, and then get into bed. So I was gonna show you guys my little skincare nighttime routine. My camera's gonna die, so. It's gonna be quick. Good morning, guys. It is the next day and it is Friday. So it's the end of the week. We made it, you guys. What a concept. I feel like this week went by so fast, honestly, though. Um, it was just like one of those weeks where I feel like I only started vlogging, I think, on Wednesday this week because Monday and Tuesday, I just wasn't feeling myself and I was pretty down about this whole situation. I know it comes in waves, goes ups and it, there's ups and downs. So definitely Monday, Tuesday were downs for me, but I'm feeling a lot better today and I've been feeling good these past few days. So today I decided to finally make my banana bread, which I've been trying to make literally for two weeks now. I feel like I just haven't had the right ingredients or I honestly didn't even have like a baking pan and everything because obviously we just moved in. So we're still missing some things for that. So I finally went out yesterday when we went to the grocery store. I got all of the ingredients that I need and I'm going to make it today and I thought I'd take you guys along on the vlog because this recipe is my mom's banana bread recipe and it is literally so good and I'm so excited to have freshly baked banana bread tomorrow morning and this afternoon for dessert tonight you guys just like freshly baked banana bread just makes me feel good so I'm very excited to be making it finally okay love you bye I'm gonna make banana bread. thanks Steven is going to pick up a TV for his gaming room. Don't worry you guys, he's doing like contactless picking it up. He's like not seeing anyone. Okay, bye. bye love, you. love you. Um, yeah, don't worry. He's not gonna be touching any humans or seeing any humans. It's like contactless delivery or pickup. Um, but he ordered this TV, so he has to go get it. But anyways, I'm gonna spend the afternoon making banana bread and I'm so excited about it. Okay, so what you're gonna need for the recipe, so you're gonna need a cup of butter, you're gonna need some sugar, you're gonna need two eggs, um, you're gonna need three bananas, and as you can see, I'm using these obviously because they are definitely very ripe, um, so it's really good for banana bread, and that's like a very good tip is to use your bananas that are about to go bad or that have gone bad and you don't wanna eat by themselves. Banana bread is like the best thing to use them up. Um, and then I had to get another one because I didn't have enough for the recipe. And then you're gonna need some flour, and then you're gonna need some baking soda, you're gonna need some salt, and you're also gonna need some vanilla. So that is the recipe, it's obviously super easy. Um, you're gonna need also a baking pan as well. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Oh, and you're obviously gonna need a bowl to mix everything in, um, and then you're gonna need, um, what is this thing called? What is it, a spatula? No, this is not a spatula. Whatever this thing is called, you guys, <laughs> it's not coming to me right now, but whatever this thing's called, you're gonna need that, um, and obviously you're gonna need like stuff to measure your ingredients. So yeah, let's get started. Real talk though, this is like the most fun I've had all week. I literally have been looking forward to making this banana bread, you guys, for so long, I can't even stress it enough. Okay, so the directions say preheat the oven at 350-180, so I'm gonna do that. There we go, starting the oven. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is cream together the butter and the sugar. So I'm gonna put all of the butter that I have left into this bowl. Okay, so I know I said I went out and got all of the things to make banana bread, but I failed to remember to get a measuring cup, unfortunately, so I'm gonna be going off of like how I think it would look. My mom also says this should be fine, um, but I'm gonna measure everything in this mug that's like pretty much the size of one cup. Um, so the first thing that it says to do on the recipe, hold on. First thing it says is to cream together butter and sugar, so I'm going to put that in there with the butter. Wow, stunning. Okay, so 
now that I have done the butter and the sugar and mix it all together, I'm gonna add in the eggs as well as the flour. So the recipe calls for two eggs. So I'm gonna put two eggs. Stunning. And I'm also gonna add in the flour. Stunning. Now I'm going to mix it all together. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the baking soda and the salt. So I think it calls for, okay, so one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and then we're also gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla. Done. Stunning! Okay, now I'm going to crush the bananas. Hello? 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 Oh, you know, I'm just... <laughs> um, one second, I'm gonna show you my, I'm gonna show you my masterpiece, hold on. Is it done? Um, no, 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 not even close. Okay. We're really working out here, though. Oh, wow. I know, like, I'm kind of... Wait, so... Did you do it on your story? Um, no, I'm vlogging it. You okay. can say hi to the vlog if you want. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wait, wait. Stunning queen. She just, um, she just called for the support, the moral support, because she knows I don't bake too often, so. You forgot to put the bananas in? Oh my god. Ah, I already forgot to put the bananas in the banana stem. It was like... I missed that step. Like I must have my dyslexia must have come into play because I just like missed the whole banana part. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so now <laughs> and we're gonna have the stunning queen bananas. I'm gonna Martha this Stewart. So good. How many bananas? Rachel Ray. Um, I am doing three bananas. says to grease the pan and then you just pour it all in. Wow, that was so easy. Wow. I'm like a chef now or something. Okay, I need to grease the pan. My mom says to put it on like a napkin and just kind of grease it up. Yeah. Grease her up. the mixture Raina is still here giving us some moral support um, because this is just a huge task apparently for me so we made the mixture it's really stunning I'll show you so it says in the thing not to over mix it so I'm not gonna over mix it look at the mess around me when I make literally you should see the mess around me right now um, okay so I'm not gonna over mix it just like the recipe calls for and now I grease the pan and I put like butter all up in it and now I'm going to pour my banana bread into it. Wow. Stunning. Wow, that looks so good. <gasps> wow, I'm like very impressed with myself right now, I just have to say. Okay, so here's the final results. Not baked yet, obviously. Oh wait, but you know what? Someone said to put like a fresh banana on top of it to make it like the, the, like aesthetic. the aesthetic. Should I do that? Okay. You, but you have to cut it in half, Emma. No, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine if I just like stuck it on there. I actually can't. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do the aesthetics. Hold on. This is like so needs aesthetic. to be aesthetic. This needs to be aesthetic. Hold on. So I'm gonna cut it in half, like like skinny. Like skinny queen, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, love that. So like that. Yeah. Okay, wait, you guys need to see what I'm doing here. 
So I saw this on Instagram, but someone put this like here for the aesthetics. So I don't think it does anything. It just adds like maybe a few more banana flavor flaves. But other than that, it's just for the aesthetics. And you guys know we're all about aesthetics around here. So, okay. So this is the final result before we put it in the oven. And I preheated the oven at 350 and I'm gonna put it in for 55 minutes. But my mom recommends to like leave it for an extra five to like make it extra crispy and delicious. So we're gonna do that. Oh my God. Wow, she's stunning, honestly. <laughs> I've never been so more excited in my life right now. Okay, so I put it in. I'm gonna set my timer for 55 minutes and we'll check back when it's ready. In 55 minutes. In 55 minutes. Okay, you guys, it's been an hour and we're gonna do the ultimate test and see how it looks. Honestly, it kind of looks really stunning. How does it smell like? It smells so good. Also, Reyna is still here on FaceTime. <laughs> but it smells so good. I think I'm gonna keep it in for like maybe another couple minutes just to make sure. But it's looking good, ladies. It's looking good. Oh, it smells so good. And it looks stunning. I love the banana touch, you guys. Killed it. I really hope it tastes good. Stunning! You guys, it looks so good. Look at that. Absolute perfection. Steven, come see it. I absolutely can't see it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm looking at black right now. <laughs> Holy shit. You Look, put a real bit like a banana. I put a banana for the it. aesthetic. Yeah. Wow, what presentation? Presentation, and I think it's gonna Babe, be I'm delicious. Really proud of you I have to let it sit though. First. I can't believe you baked this. I did it. I did I it, you guys. You did that. Holy crap. You guys, I don't know. I'm just like Rachel Ray at this point. Hold on, Raina needs to see it. Okay, you want to see it? Raina's gonna get her reaction, you guys. Hold on. How? So yum. How good? Oh my god, it's so yum. I know. A little Jones uh, piece of butter. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. Oh, absolutely. A piece of that. I know. I know. Jeez. Killed it. Absolutely killed it. So, can't wait to eat it. I'm gonna eat it for dessert tonight. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let this sit and cool down for a bit, and then we're gonna taste test it later today when we have it after our lunch. So. Okay guys, it has been a few hours since I last picked up the camera, but it is time for the official taste test of the banana bread. There are no plates left. It's okay, it's clean in here. Is it clean? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> okay. Where are we gonna set you up? Are you gonna come taste test? Yeah, I will. Okay. The official taste test of the stunning queen banana bread. Is it good? Killed it, babe. Is it actually good or are you just saying that? No, it's actually good. Is it good? That's stunning. <laughs> I actually killed that. You really killed it, babe. You guys are not trying to like flex. I'm not trying to flex. Well, this is some of the best banana bread I've ever had. Okay, hi guys, it is the next day, obviously. Um, it's actually the afternoon, it's almost five o'clock and I'm just starting this vlog. Um, but I just wanted to be honest with you guys, I haven't really had anything interesting to film. Um, I know this is like kind of new to me, this whole weekly vlog thing, so I'm just getting used to like picking up my camera and making sure I capture 
different moments but also give myself a break and like not pick up the camera and just have like time and moments to myself and stuff so and this morning was definitely one of those I mean I wasn't unproductive I had a few phone call meetings um, and I was kind of working on a few things with the girls for that so sabotage so we did do a few like productive things this morning I just didn't find the need to bring out my camera and I just wanted to be honest with you guys about that um, because obviously we're all in quarantine and things have been kind of going up and down I know it's like kind of like a general thing where everyone's felt like it's just coming in waves like going up and down and either you're like on a high and you're feeling productive and like you're feeling excited about having all this time on your hands but on the other hand there are days where you just like don't want to get out of bed and you're just like not happy with the day so i've definitely had those myself and um i've been honest with you guys about some of them as well on like some of the older vlogs now that you guys are kind of following along on the weekly vlogs you've kind of seen what i've been up to and seen how i've been feeling and i've been kind of giving you guys um insight as to how i've been feeling but anyways i've been feeling okay this week like pretty good honestly like i've had some crappier days and <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you guys but today was fine i just really didn't feel like picking up my camera so this is just a reminder to you guys to not always feel like you have to be productive i feel like everyone's saying that since we have so much time on our hands now we need to use it to our advantage and like get ahead of ourselves and use the time that we wouldn't have had before but i feel like that's very unhealthy and very like it's a very unhealthy way to think because I feel like we just have to be really kind to ourselves, be gentle on yourself. Make sure you put your mental health and your physical health before anything like that. Um, and just make sure you take those days off that you need, which I kind of did this morning, so not mad about it. I don't even know if this is making any sense, but I just wanted to remind you guys to be kind to yourself, listen to your body, make sure you're not pushing yourself too hard during these quarantine times because I know it can definitely be a stressful time for everybody. Um, yeah, it's just gonna come in waves and I don't know about you guys, but I definitely think we're gonna be here for a while longer, at least longer than expected. So just take a seat, relax. You're gonna be here for a while, enjoy it. Try to enjoy it anyways. Um, take this time to really give yourself the self care that you couldn't do before. Don't necessarily think that you need to like learn a new language and read 18 books a day because Instagram is kind of telling us that and I honestly get stressed out because of it and I want you guys to know that that's not what I'm doing. I definitely am taking this time to be productive but not like on a crazy level that everyone's trying to kind of put out there. I'm really trying to give myself some time and make sure I'm giving myself the self-care that I deserve. I'm really listening to my body and my mind so you guys should be doing the same and I just wanted to remind you but anyways i asked you guys over on instagram stories to ask me some questions because i thought it'd be fun to add a little q a segment into this week's vlog okay the first question is favorite sweatsuit for beginners so if this is your first sweatsuit your first sweatsuit purchase that's such a hard question. I have so many sweatsuits. I really like my purple tie-dye sweatsuit. It's by the brand Cloud9 Apparel. Um, they're a company based in Toronto, I believe. Um, but I'll have their Instagram link down below for you guys if you're interested. But I think they're... I honestly have so many sweatsuits. So if you guys want to check out all of my favorite loungewear and sweatsuits, I have a whole video about that. But my answer is my purple tie-dye one because it's just so cute. Okay, the next question is, did you go to university? And I did not go to university. I did go to fashion school though. So I did do post-secondary um, and I did get like a college diploma, if you will. Um, but it was for fashion business. So it was a little bit more of like a private institution rather than like a big university. But I loved it anyways. And it definitely helped me out with the career path that I'm I was going in, so. Yeah. Favorite genre of music? I feel like this is so hard because I love so much music and so many different types of music. Um, but I really love musicals. I don't know if a lot of people know that about me, but if you follow me or you've followed me for a while, then you probably know I'm like a huge Disney fan and I like love musicals and everything revolving around Disney. So I'd probably say honestly like soundtracks to musicals, which is like so random and I feel like not a lot of people feel that way. I don't know. You guys let me know if you're like musical fans. Um, but I also just love like pop and I was like everything. It's such a hard question. Okay, well that kind of has to do with the next question. The next question I see is what's your favorite ride at Disneyland? And if you guys didn't know, I've been to Disneyland I think like 23 times. I think that's what I counted last time. 
I've literally been to Disneyland so many times, it's insane. I literally went every single year growing up with my grandparents because they had a place down in Palm Springs. So we would always go every single year to Disneyland. We'd drive in and my grandpa would drive us in and we'd like spend the day in Disneyland. So it's like, that's why I think I am the way I am because Disneyland was such a huge part of my childhood and it literally like shaped who I am today, I swear. Like that sounds so cheesy and I'm sure so many people feel the same way, but I genuinely feel that. That is why I am the way I am, so. I have my grandparents to thank me for that or to thank for that. So the next question is what does PFG stand for? Sorry, I'm new. Okay, so if you're new here, PFG is an acronym that me and my girlfriends made up and it stands for Pink Feed Goals. So PFG and it kind of came about because we all love the color pink. It's like our favorite color ever and and we would always describe each other's feed as like pink feed goals if it had pink in it so if it's like a very beautiful cohesive feed like instagram feed with like tons of hints of pink in it we would always be like oh my god your feed is so pink feed goals and then one day we were just like oh my god pfg and then we're like oh my god we have to keep saying that and then we kept saying it and it just kind of turned into the, what it is today so yeah that's what PFG means. And I highly recommend using it in your everyday vocabulary. Okay, and then the last question I'm gonna answer is, how are you liking the new apartment? Do you like the area and is it affordable? So that's a loaded question, but I'm just gonna kind of answer, yes, we do like the apartment. We actually love it. Like we truly love the space. And when we were deciding to move out, we just were kind of in a pickle of like, do we want to move out of the country? Do we want to move in the main city? Do we want to move outside of the city and get this place? Like, It was like such a hard decision, I guess, to make whether we wanted like a beautiful space or more so location. Um, but we decided on a beautiful space because we know both of us work from home and we just really wanted to love the space that we live in and feel happy every day waking up. We wanted like the big windows because I'm like a huge dependent on daylight and like natural light. So. Yes, we love the apartment. We like absolutely love it. It's so crazy because I'm like, I feel so grateful because I genuinely love waking up in this apartment every day. And I know it's like a super lucky feeling and a super privileged feeling to have that. Um, even though me and Steven pay for everything and work really hard to get here, it's so privileged that we get to do this and like live this lifestyle. And I know it's not like the craziest lifestyle compared to some people, but for us, it's like, honestly, I just, can't believe it and I just like love it so much and honestly if you told me like five years ago that I would live in my own apartment with like my own office and a beautiful kitchen and windows like this like I literally wouldn't believe you and I really didn't think this was possible so yeah we just like love it so much yeah it's just like such a pinch me moment I feel like I always have to pinch myself when there's like a sunset and golden hour is shining through my apartment like I literally have to pinch myself because it's like feels so surreal to me that this is like my life crazy yeah those are all the questions that i'm going to answer in this week's vlog maybe i'll do this every week i don't know what do you guys think every vlog do you guys want like a mini q a let me know i thought this was fun to do this week because i was honestly just chilling today and lying on this bed doing absolutely nothing and being totally real and eating my dried mangoes and i was like why not do a little q a and hang out with you guys for a bit so anyways i'm going to now <laughs> i'm going to now get up out of this bed and it is almost dinner time so i think me and steven are going to cook a fun recipe tonight and make something yummy so i'll definitely tell you guys what we end up making um and yeah thanks so much for asking those questions it was so much fun you guys look how pretty the sunset is it's my favorite time of day so pfg i literally look forward to the sunset here every single night it just makes me so happy today and today I have a few things I lined up for the day so I'm up early it is well not that early it's like literally 9 30 um, but early considered that I'm already showered hair makeup everything's done because today me and the girls are filming an episode of that's so sabotage this morning because we post every episode on Mondays so today's Sunday obviously so we're gonna be posting or filming 
our episode today for tomorrow. Um, and then I also have a FaceTime call with my grandparents and all of my cousins at some point today. Um, and then what else do we have planned today? And then I was also thinking of potentially filming another YouTube video. So honestly, we just have a few things on the list today, but number one is definitely filming um, for that so sabotage, but I'm just gonna make myself a cup of coffee first because you know your girl's gotta start her day off with a cup of coffee. I literally can't do anything without drinking my morning coffee, you guys. Is it just me? I know there are a lot of coffee people out there, but I know there are also people that don't drink coffee and can like totally function without it, but I'm not one of those people. I need coffee to function my day. So I'm going to put you guys down. Is that fine? By the way, my shirt, if you're wondering, says oh shit on it and it's from Nasty Gal. But anyways, I'm gonna make my coffee now. Okay, you guys, look how stunning that froth is. If you guys are wondering, if you haven't seen my little coffee routine yet, um, I use this frother from Nespresso and it literally makes the most stunning queen froth, as you can see. So we have one more ingredient though. You guys already know, honey. And we are on our second bottle of honey now. <laughs> I think I still have to open this one. It's not even open yet. Yep, it's a fresh bottle, you guys. Stunning. And if you guys are new here, then you don't know this yet, but we have coffee. I mean, <laughs> we do have coffee every morning, but we have honey in our coffee here. Instead of sugar or any other type of sweetener, we just have honey and it is absolutely stunning. I think these are some of the best coffees I've made in a while, not gonna lie. It's kind of stunning. And then once I'm done making Stephen and I's coffee, it's literally our morning routine. I head over to the bedroom. If I could open it with one arm. And give Stephen his morning coffee. Wow, thanks, babe. Best girlfriend in the world. Watch out, it's really hot. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Best girlfriend ever. I know. Okay. The girls, the girls are all here. Hi. Say hi. Hi sisters, how are you? And we're recording our episode for tomorrow and you guys, it's all things Coachella and the first year, year of Coachella, one. Year, one, year one and how we all met at Coachella, all our first experiences. Yeah, exactly, all the sabotage. All the and um, you guys, we have a special guest in the house. Hi. Lena, Lena, woo. Lena's in the house. She um, is here. She is so here, so we're about to record, but if you guys wanna watch the episode, because I'm assuming the episode will be up before this, it's on that, so sabotage. You wanna hear you wanna you wanna hear all the tea. Okay, so the girls and I just finished shooting that so sabotage. It was really funny, and I think you guys are gonna like the episode. It's a little bit longer than a usual episode, but it's a cute and funny one. But anyways, you guys I have to show you this. So first of all, we already know Steven has his new game room. So he's currently busy gaming, but you guys look who decided to join him. I actually can't. Like, I actually can't, yeah. you guys. Pippa's literally obsessed with Steven. I had to put a chair here because she always... He literally had to put a chair there because she loves to hang out with yeah. him. So she's literally... <laughs> I actually can't. She always takes my chair. So yeah. I just had to bring another chair. Are you hanging out with Steven? <laughs> oh, I can't. She, like, literally loves Steven so much. Anyways, I just had to show that because... It's just the cutest thing ever. Um, but now I think I'm going to make some lunch because it is now one o'clock in the afternoon and I still really haven't eaten that much. So, Steven, are you hungry? Uh, I'm decent, are you hungry? I'm pretty hungry, but. So yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch. And yeah. 
Okay, so Steven and I decided we're gonna go for a little drive today since it's such a nice day here in Vancouver um, We're gonna go do a little drive. Obviously, we will not be seeing anyone and not getting in any human contact um, We're gonna stay in the car, but we're just gonna go get some nice fresh air in the car change up the scenery um, Before we start our week because tomorrow's Monday and I think it's a good idea for us to go get some fresh air before the week starts. You think so? Nice sweater, by the way. This do you guys, whole outfit is endless. Do you guys recognize this sweater from my haul and also these sweats from my other haul? Where I'm doing laundry right now. <laughs> it looks cute on you, though. It looks better on you than me, to be honest. Um, but anyways, so we're going to go get some fresh air, enjoy the beautiful sunshine today, and then we're going to come right back to our apartment. <laughs> Okay guys, we are back from our little walk. It was very nice to get out and get some fresh air. But of course, we're back at the apartment now. And we are cook, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> we are currently cooking dinner. And Steven, what are we making tonight? Well, I'm making uh, chicken. Chicken. And broccoli. Chicken and broccoli. Emma's making the broccoli. I'm making the broccoli. He's making the chicken. What kind of chicken? He's making honey chicken? Honey chicken. Honey chicken. So we have all of this stuff out here. You can see we have a little bit of a mess going on here. However, it's gonna be delicious soon. So now he's currently cooking up the chicken, so I have to make the broccoli. Um, and if you guys um, have seen like our cooking highlights and you have seen the recipe already, I posted on my Instagram highlights, like the cooking highlights. So if you guys wanna see that, or I'll have it maybe somewhere on the screen here or in the description, something, it'll be somewhere, you guys can find it, but I'm going to make our famous broccoli in oyster sauce, so freaking good. So we're gonna make that now, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're finished. Okay guys, here is the final result. We got the honey garlic chicken and the broccoli. It looks so good, babe. Good job, babe. Good job. Killed it. Once again, nailed another. We're honestly nailed good another. At this adult type we are. Thing. We're really good at adulting. We have to taste test it though. Okay, I'll just try your chicken and you try my broccoli. Okay. Really good. That's not bad, yeah. Wait, it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Broccoli obviously slaps. Broccoli slaps. So bro broccoli slaps every time. Sorry. Hello. Hanging. 